Hi, today I'd like to talk about modern silver and I'm going to show you the craziest, most far out modern silver that I can think of. The first one is by George Jensen and it's called Caravel. The shape of the knife is pretty unique and look how stubby the fork is. It's a really advanced pattern. The year came out 1957. It's one of my favorite modern patterns. Then this next one is Mexican. It's called Avante by Celica. Look at that handle. So pierced handle, blade that's very flush. And then if you look at like a spoon, it's cut off at the top. Look at this gravy ladle. That's a weird shape. Very useful, but very modern. So one of my favorites is this Tajorn by Dansk. Again, the knife is what makes it. It's completely unique. It looks almost like an oar. And the blade is sterling. No, no, sorry, the blade is stainless. The handle is sterling. But they come together almost seamlessly. So a very cool knife. No modern silver group would be complete without Arne Jakobsen. So he, in the 1950s, did really unique silver. Here's a, a place setting of it. Again, the knife is like a scalpel. Really cool. The other piece is very narrow. Um, I've sold a lot of this. I used to do a modernism show in Michigan, and the first couple shows I did there, uh, I would sell 100 place settings every time. It was absolutely what the people wanted in a modernist silver. Okay, so these are the ones people think of as the great modern mid-century patterns, but now the ones that are my favorites. Okay, so there's this company that was around in the 1970s and 1980s. The company's named Nobile, and then there was a designer. He was Japanese, and I'm sure I'm going to butcher his name, but Shoho Toyozaki. He created three patterns. The first one, I'll say it only in English to spare you, is snow. And it is totally cool. Modern beyond belief. Look at this for a knife. This spoon is crazy. And then a fork that looks like this. You got to be kidding me. <laughs> okay, that's number one. His second pattern was called Moon. And again, it's the same type of look. This one's a little more straightforward. At least the three pieces look kind of the same. But really, really out there, cool. Uh, doesn't get much better than that. By the way, these patterns are so rare. I've had one set of moon ever, ever since I've been looking hard for it in the last 10 years. I bought two individual place settings, put them on the website, and then a woman called and said, oh, I've got 12 place settings of that. Would you like to buy it? I said, yes, indeed. And so I, I did have one set of that. It, it's almost museum quality. You know, it's, it's art. The last one is I, I kept the, the best for last, is called Flower. Okay, his patterns were done in 1985. This one is really cool. I don't know why they call it Flower. To me, that looks like a shark fin on this thing. Again, really cool spoon. And then this crazy fork. This one's especially noteworthy because this very set was used on a Star Trek movie in 1985. So anyway, these will be going to a museum after you see them. Thank you. See them. Thank you.